Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. Uh, back here with Jeff, been a couple weeks and with some very exciting updates. I'm gonna let Jeff introduce them. Uh, but first things first, Jeff, how are you? Doing great, man, all good. <laughs> Election <laughs> is uh, is almost over. That was interesting. Obviously it took a lot of uh, time from a lot of people out there, so that's interesting. Um, on the psychedelic side, we have uh, with our company, Wuhan, we have a couple of press releases we put out. And finally, we put out our first press release with regards to the psilocybin research that we're conducting up at the uh, University of Pretoria. So that was very exciting for us. I mean, uh, we haven't talked about it uh, in 18 months, unlike the other psilocybin comp so-called psilocybin companies that tend to make 18 press releases a day about what they're doing. So um, we're very happy about getting that out. <laughs> And we're also very happy that uh, this Saturday in uh, just a couple of days, uh, we'll be launching our Medspresso line of hot beverages. So very excited. And the Handcrafted Delights line as well. So things are moving in the right direction. Very, very happy. Yeah. No, at least, uh, you know, out of the election, some some great things for obviously the psychedelic, uh, you know, kind of cannabis industry. We'll, we'll talk about Oregon um, a little bit later. But uh, do we want to go through press releases, uh, you know, kind of chronological order? We can start with uh, Handcrafted de Delights and go from there. Sure. So the, the Handcrafted Delights press release came out, uh, I don't know, maybe a week ago or so. And I think there were actually two of them. Um, and they are a line of baked guilt-free cookies that are CBD infused. So the, the premise behind the, the thinking behind the, the line is that they're, they're cookies made with nothing but all natural, incredible premium ingredients, much like we do with the coffee, the tea and the hot chocolate. Again, everything for us has to be incredibly premium uh, with using as little artificial ingredients as possible. Uh, and I mean as little. So when it comes to, you know, garbagey sugar and stuff like that, we, we will not use that. We'll, uh, we'll try to find substitutes like a, a Finboss honey from Africa, which is extremely well known for the health benefits, medicinal benefits. So things like that are really, really important to us. We feel that the combination of the ingredients we did in the 10 cookies that we'll be launching uh, are really interesting in that each one has a medicinal reason as to why you may want to try a particular cookie. So at nighttime, you may want to have the lavender chamomile shortbread uh, because it actually contains lavender and chamomile, which are well known to, you know, make you have a better sleep. So things like that, we did all the formulations based on, uh, you know, going after a particular ailment that you might be suffering from at the time. And they are absolutely delicious cookies. So extremely happy. They're a great compliment to the hot beverage line. Yeah. No, awesome. Uh, extremely exciting uh, for, for a lot of people. And you guys are using great products, like you said, uh, great ingredients in these products. So uh, fantastic. Um, hmm. you know, moving on from and there. Then, dude, yeah. yeah. Then the, the so the, the uh, Medspresso line of, of hot beverages, which is the uh, rooibos tea, the Tanzanian pea berry coffee, which is, of course, one of the world's uh, greatest coffees every year, winning the award for, you know, usually one, two or three. And then the uh, hot chocolate line, those also will be launching Saturday with the handcrafted delights. We'll be launching those at our partner's uh, showroom, Cafe Lux. We have a brilliant event on Saturday at 10 a.m. here in Cape Town. Uh, it's going to be amazing. People get to come and try the CBD coffee, tea, hot chocolate, the cookies. They'll be learning all about the health benefits of CBD. Our team will be there. So we'll have uh, probably 10 of us will be down there uh, educating the public as to those health benefits and why it is that, you know, if you're suffering from this, you might want to try this. If you've got this, you may want to try that. So it's an educational type launch as well as of course, we want the feedback from how people are enjoying the product. Me, I absolutely, listen, I love this stuff. It's incredible. It's, it's my heart that I poured into the thinking behind each product. Uh, it's not just, you know, throwing together some coffee and throwing in some CBD and saying, here you go. It's a lot different than that. So we are uh, extremely excited to get that going. And that's happening this weekend. And then uh, the whole People have asked, you know, well, you know, how, how will you get that out to the public and will you go massive retail? The early thinking that we did have maybe a year ago was massive retail.
But now with COVID and what we've learned through online experience and online sales for all retail giants, I mean, just look at Shopify and look at Amazon and look at their sales. And listen, a majority of the revenues that were being generated from in-store sales now have switched to online. People have been, they've, they are getting accustomed to this, going online and ordering. So our strategy has changed a bit. We're not looking for the massive retail push through the, the big uh, box chain stores here. We will be doing uh, a push through select locations and franchisees, which would be fran or franchise locations, uh, not places with 800 stores, but maybe 25 stores, let's say, like the, there's a particular cannabis operation across Africa that, that have retail outlets. We may want to uh, go with them and partner up with them, for example, but we will be doing a lot of push online for online sales. Yeah. No, uh, awesome. I think obviously it makes a lot of sense. Like you, you already touched on it, you know, Shopify and Amazon really capturing a big part of the market during COVID and a lot of people becoming more like, comfortable buying things online. Um, you know, again, the, the strategy or the rollout plan, um, are, are you in discussions? Is there anything you want to share with people about where you guys sit? Um, you know, when can people expect to be able to buy uh, stuff online? So good question. So Saturday will be the launch party. Uh, people will be buying the product uh, for sale on Saturday. I mean, all the packaging, all the barcodes, everything have been done. So we're registered now to sell it. We think that we'll probably make the South African website live first. That'll be the first one to go. Uh, and we'll probably do it, say, Monday. So that gives us the weekend to, to prep that and get it ready. Because the product, quite frankly, it's pretty cool. I went out to the roaster on uh, today's Thursday, on Tuesday, and watched our roaster take our pea berry and do the roasting. And that was a really cool process, learning about, you know, how the roasting works and the first crack and the second crack and the color and the smell. It was just amazing. So that was really cool. And then what it does is it sits for about a day and then it goes to our partner, Cafe Luke's, today. So today at 1.30, I'll be going down to the Cafe Luke's uh, operation where they do the encapsulation. That's different from the showroom facilities. So that's where we take the coffee, put it into the actual Nespresso style pod, then we add the CBD and boom, we have the, the, compat the, the Nespresso compatible capsule is done. But there's a, you know, you still have to, uh, you know, we've got 10 MGs of uh, CBD going in each capsule. So you have to make sure that the capsules are, the pressure is working right, that the pour of the coffee is, everything is, is, is looking great. So I'll be down there for all that testing today at 1.30. Again, it's something that I love to do. I love to be hands-on. I love to know how it all works. I love to be uh, not an absentee CEO that just kind of sits up in the, the office and you know gets reports. I like to be the guy rolling up my sleeve so I can understand the process. And uh, I'll be there today for a couple hours understanding that process. And we'll be doing the tea, the rooibos tea, the two coffees, and the uh, hot chocolate. So super excited about that. Yeah. No, awesome. So cool. And then, yeah, people can pretty quick rollout can expect, uh, you know, kind of online ordering in South Africa um, as, as early as Monday. So absolutely. Awesome. And then, yeah. And then for the U S and everywhere else, I, I don't want to stick to a, or I don't want to commit to a date yet, but uh, listen, it's, it's on the top of our mind. We have uh, interested parties from all around the world that want to carry the product everywhere. So uh, that's not so much the issue. The issue is being able to fulfill correctly on time and making sure not only the customer is happy, but making sure that whoever it may be that's carrying our line in a certain country, making sure that they're happy so that the whole supply chain is a smooth process. You know, it's, it's been a challenge with COVID. We all know that it's been a heck of a challenge. And that's what, you know, kind of delayed us quite a bit, but here we are, uh, we've done it and uh, we're about to launch. So super happy. Yeah. No, oh, awesome. You you tease that you kind of already have some distribution or or partners elsewhere. Is that something we do? Any uh, anything you want to dive into there, or just a teaser? Uh, nothing concrete uh, that I can say at the moment. But we do have. I mean, let's put it this way: Cafe Luke's exports to thirty five countries around the world. So, needless to say, well, 
I, you could probably connect the dots and say that wherever they're exporting to and those customers that are buying from 35 other countries around the world, most likely our coffee is going there and our hot beverage line is going there as well. Awesome. Hey. So that's, you know, that's, that's quite a big footprint. Massive news. So fantastic. Uh, you know, mm. uh, hey, uh, that's better than just a little teaser. So thanks, Jeff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny, like I've said this with you before, I, I don't like to say that, you know, wow, it's going to be December 15th and this is going to happen. Listen, we all know that stuff happens and, and delays occur. So uh, what I do like to say is, look, Cafe Looks and I, we, we've been having, it's an amazing partnership. I love working with Michael. We've done an interview with Michael. Um, we, we really enjoy what we're doing together. So we've been planning and scheming, you know, how do we now, you know, get our product rolled out? I mean, it's only natural that if we're rolling out you know if we're selling uh, x amount of pods into into the uk as an example where where cafe looks by the way has a manufacturing plant so <laughs> so if we're rolling out you know say we're rolling out pods to italy and we're selling a, a million pods a month there well you know it's probably pretty good common sense that we are the only cbd guy with cafe looks so as an add-on and upsell for anyone that's got those rights in Italy, they're looking at the product going, holy cow, is that unique? It's different. It's original. I'm in. Get me that now. 